in today's video i'm going to show you how to use this cool ai tool called photo ai to generate realistic ai images and we are also going to turn this image into a video like this with this photo ai you have access to different other ai tools like text to image photo enhancing image ai expand you can expand your image aspect ratio you can remove unwanted object from your images change image background you can also do face swap and you can even turn your realistic image into a cartoon image from this website you will also have access to text to video generator you also have access to image to video generator you can create ai talking avatar you can remove objects from your video you can enhance the quality of your video and you can also remove background from your video so whether you're a content creator or just someone who loves editing this photo ai website will make things much faster and easier for you so let's get started now to access the website you go to any web browser you're using and search for photo.com and this is what the interface of this website looks like so to get started you will either need to sign up or you sign in if you don't have an account with this website then you need to click on this sign up button but if you have an account then you click on the login button if you click on the sign up button you will be asked to get started with any of this um, information you can continue with google continue with facebook continue with apple or you can simply type in your email address and your password now when you sign in and log in to the website you will come to this other interface so from here you can see there's a lot you can do with this website First, we'll start with their text to image generator, after which I will show you their text to video generator feature, which is very realistic and accurate. So if you come down here, this is what is under the photo editor with AI. So from here, you can edit your photo. I'm going to show you that later in this video. Then from here, you can use your AI upscaler to upscale your images. Then you can use the magic eraser to remove objects from your image. You can see what it's doing there. Then here we have AI skin retouch. You can retouch any photo with um, pimples and all that. Then you can restore old photo using this other AI. You can enhance the quality of your image. Then you can unblock a photo. You can see the example here. Then you also have AI replace. You can replace any part of any image. Then from here we have the AI expand, the background remover, and there's a lot on this website. Then under AI image generating, we have text to image, AI cartoonizer, you can turn a realistic image into a cartoon. So here we have AI headshot, then we have face mimic, and from here we have um, AI baby generator and face swap. Then if you come down, we also have AI effect and filters, whereby you can create this kind of effect from your image. Then if you come down here, you can do quick design Instagram posts. You can also create YouTube thumbnail for your videos. You can um, create presentation slide. Then you can also create posters on this website. Then there's a lot you can do with this website. But what we are going to start with today is the AI text to image. So what you are going to do is to just come down here and, and from this option, you are going to see um, text to image option here. So you just click on it. Now, let me explain what we are having here so that you can go ahead to generate your image effectively. So, when you come here from this option on my left hand side, this is where you can choose the style of your image. So, from here, we have different style. This is photography, we have pin, pin up, we have film look. So, if you scroll down, there's a lot of style you can choose from this option. So, for this, I'll leave it on photography, then I will come down here. Here is where you do your settings so if you are looking at um, creating youtube videos then you need to select the system by nine aspect ratio then if you are looking at youtube shots or tiktok videos or um facebook race or instagram race then you need to select the nine by 16 aspect ratio after that for this video i'll select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio then this is the number of images you want to generate at a time so you can choose one you can choose two three or four for this let me just go with two for now then after setting that then you need to come here this is the area you need to enter your prompt so for this i'll just paste in this prompt which i did so I use ChatGPT to generate this prompt. If you want me to show you that, then let me know in the comment section of this video. So if you don't want to use prompt, then you can come over here and use image to image. So you can basically generate an AI image from an existing image. So for this, I want to use, I'll also show you how to use the image option, but now let's 
um, generate our image using prompt so if you can see we have over here you have a limit of 3000 characters that is your prompt should not exceed 3000 characters so from here i'll just paste in this prompt which i did then after pasting in the prompt i'll just go ahead and click on generate our image is generating and after some few seconds you are going to see the result of this image so you can see the result of this image let me open up this image for you to see how cool and this image is this is the first image and if you click on this arrow then you're going to see the second image that we have here now this is our image and to download this image you can simply go over here opening the image and click on download and this image is going to be downloaded to your device another cool feature on this website is after generating your image you can go ahead to edit that particular image removing some things that you don't need in that image if you want to edit your image you can simply click on this edit button here then they will ask you some option you want to use you want to upscale the image or you want to expand the image you want to um, replace some part of this image let's say this smoke showing in the image or this egg in the in this plate you want to remove the egg then you can use the ai replace then we have the magic eraser if you want to remove um, anything from this image let's say this work clock you want to remove this clock from this image you can use the magic eraser then we also have the background remover in case you want to remove background from this image so let's just try one of these feature and let's see the outcome so let's say i want to remove Remove um, this egg from this plate. I'm going to click on ma magic eraser. And when I click on the magic eraser from the left hand side here, there are some settings here. So from here, you can increase the size of the brush or you can reduce the size of the brush. Okay. Now let's go ahead. You can see my brush here. So I'll come here. I'll just um, highlight the egg I want to remove from this image. Let's say this other egg I also want to remove from the image. Once I highlight what I want to remove from my image, you come over here and click on this remove option. And with just one click, you can see the egg has been removed from this plate. So if you are satisfied with what you have gotten, then you go ahead and click on this download option here to download this image. So they asked me to apply and download. So I'm going to apply and download. So from here, I'll select either JPEG, PNG, you can rename your file from here. You can select the quality of your file that you want to use. So I'm just going to leave it on high quality. Then from here, I'll click on this download option to download this to my device. Now, let me quickly show you how to use the image to image generator on this website. To use that option, simply come over here. You can see um, hover your mouse or your hand or you just tap on text to image and from here you select image to image option so when you select the text image to image option then you come over here and select the style of the image so let's say for this i want to use the 3d cartoon option here or let's say uh, yes i want to use the 3d cartoon option i'll select the style of my image after that has been selected i'll come here so from here you can do some little settings this is the number of image you want to um, generate then this is the similarity so if you take it to 100 percent it means you want the image the um the uploaded image and the outcome image to be um similar so i'm just going to leave it at um 60 percent or um 65 percent so from here i'll come over here so this is where you upload the image you want to generate a new image from so i'm going to click on this upload so from here i'll select the image i want to use and click on open to upload the image now that the image has been uploaded we'll go ahead and come here to click on this generate and after some few seconds your image your 3d cartoon image will be generated so let's just compare you can see the image so if you click on compare you can see the outcome of this image so let's just go again so we see another option here click on compare and you can see the outcome of this image so my advice when you are using this particular option you make sure you are using um, an image that the face is much more visible for the ai to pick it up now let me show you how to use the ai video generator on this website to use that option simply come over here and click over your mouse or tap on the ai image generator here then you come down and from this option you are going to see ai video generator simply click on that option and then from here you can see this is how it looks like so from here you can see other videos that um, people have generated you can see how realistic and cool these um, videos are 
so these are images that people have generated using this website now let's um, go ahead to generate our own video so from here you have we have two options either to generate a video from text or you can generate a video from image let's start with text and then i'll show you um, the image option so for this text i will just simply put in my prompt here so let's put put in the same prompt which I will use for our image. So this is the prompt which we use for that for our image. We are going to see a surprising outcome from here. So after putting in your prompt, we are going to come down here. This is the definition. So if you want to use um the this the, the definition is the quality. So 360 and um 720. We also have um 1080p. So let me just select the 720p. Then this is the duration. If you want a seconds video, if you want four seconds video, you can choose choose either of this option let's just go with the four se seconds video for now then we'll come down here this is the style this is where you choose the style so for this particular style let's just go with um, cinematic this particular cinematic you can use any style of your choice and after that setting all these things then you come down here and click on generate so i told you you are going to see a surprising outcome so this is the um, video let's just play this video and um, just play it on full screen I will see so you can see how realistic this video is so this is cool I like this so now let's go ahead to download this video if you want to download this video simply come over here and click on this download option and this video is going to be downloaded to your device and you can go ahead to use this video in your project now let's talk about how to use um, the from image option so um, let's just go over here and click on from image come over here and upload your image so if i select my image i can upload from my computer so let me just upload an image so if you are uploading an image this is a quick tip for you if you are uploading an image you upload a good image that can be animated don't just upload any image of your choice so let's just go ahead and upload this particular image and see if this actually can be animated so let's upload this so i'll click on open and now you can see my image has been uploaded so from here I'll describe um, um, the story of my image. So what I want this woman to do, I want her to turn the food in the plate because that is the action she's doing, turning the um, food in the plate according to my own story. So I want her to turn the food in the plate. So I'll come over here. You need to select the definition of your video. That is the resolution. So you can either use this or um, 360, 720 or 1080. You select the duration. Let's leave it at 4 seconds. Um, from here, you can select the style, original. Okay. Then we have this option, um, hug and kiss. I'll talk about this letter on this channel in my next video. So let's go ahead and from this dance side, let's click on generate. Now let's take a look at the output, the outcome of this video. Let me just open this video on full screen so that you see how realistic this video is. So you can see um, this, this is the video we generated from um, the image that we just uploaded. You can see how cool and realistic this video is. There is no mistake. You can see the hand. There is no distortion at all. So this is the video. Now you can go ahead to download this video. You can go ahead to try this website out. There's a lot of AI features on this website that is going to make your content creation um, faster and easier. But as a free user, you have limited access to some of the features on this website. So I would advise if you have the money to invest, then you go ahead well, with the Photo Pro. So with this Photo Pro, it gives you access to a lot of features on this website that you can use. They also have the Photo Pro Plus. It also um, gives you a lot of access to that um, the Photo Pro doesn't give you. This is a good investment that you can do for your content creation game. We are going to be covering a lot of these features on this channel as we move on. So do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comment section of this video the particular feature that you like most on this website.